Today I'm going to show you how to make blackberry gin. Now you could use vodka or you could use gin, whatever you've got in the house or whatever you prefer. So I use this book, River Cottage book, the booze book, which is fantastic. It's got lots of ideas in there. The actual recipe I'm using is the one that's for raspberry vodka, but I just adapt it for blackberries. So I'll put the um, blackberries in first. So 280 grams of blackberries. So you put them in a kiln or a jar. And you put 140 grams of sugar you know you can vary this it all depends how sweet you like it so this is just a guide and then all you do is fill it with vodka or gin i'm going to put the whole 70 uh the whole bottle in and um, all the, re the recipe only says 600 ml but it is like i say only a guide so you just pour it in the middle and leave it for about three months you'll need to agitate it until the sugar's dissolved so you'll shake it for a bit you'll leave it for you know a couple of hours the next day give it a bit more of a shake then every once in a while during the three month period i normally give it a little bit of a shake just to release the flavour into the gin so leave it for three months before you um, take the blackberries out don't forget to save the bottle because you will need to pour it into something once the fruits have infused into it. I'm going to leave the link for the book in the comments because this book is really useful. There's lots of other really useful recipes in there. I used gin, but you could use vodka or whiskey. If you use whiskey, only put blackberries in it. Don't put a different fruit in it because I've never tried that and I don't know how it would work. But it's really good with, with blackberries and whiskey too. So if you like what you see, then please subscribe to my channel for future updates.